this was a how did you feel during it and after it? And then we'll take questions from Bev on the next screen. So maybe she's asking the question why. Okay. Yep, I went ahead and I started. it and that was behind the class that was going on and so there's this big huge 
complain and nobody noticed, and I was really, and I was freaking out and nobody noticed. I'm like, this is so cool. And, but it took the second one, and the second one wouldn't light. And, and so instead of just saying, yeah, that's it, done, I, I poured it on there, and it was the loudest explosion <laughs> ever. I mean, I, my ears were ringing, there were kids diving <laughs> out, of the, out of their chairs and on the floor because they thought it was a gunshot. And, you know, and my, my other um, independent study person was up there next to Mr. Huber, and Mr. Huber just looked up, made sure that, you know, nobody was bleeding, and he said, all he did was say that wasn't supposed to happen right back to what he was teaching and it was that did two things for me it was one um i know without a doubt as to what is required for combustion in an explosion <laughs> you need to have the right air to fuel ratio because that's what happened i had capped it with air and it you know also that is my one reason i tend to cap <laughs> by air uh, but the second thing was that i wanted to be that kind of teacher i wanted to be the teacher that you could make a huge mistake and the only thing he was concerned about was anybody hurt. Nobody was hurt, goes on with his day. I mean, there were teachers popping their heads, like, what's going on in here? Just, I mean, it was so loud. And so I was like, I want to be the classroom teacher, so here I am. So there you go. Um, it's kind of a hard one because I'm trying to reflect on I'm thinking going back in, into school, but I'm kind of changing. I, I'll start probably with maybe the worst. Um, and I've never given this any thought until today. But I would say probably in high school, and although there were some things going on at home, and there were, um, I gave up on class. And at the time I was a, in the, I don't know what they call it, it would be the AIG, school and this that and the other and I simply gave up and at that point I was I started giving up and I didn't reach my potential now I did go go ahead and go to college and all that stuff but you know that was one thing that I think separated me or at least I felt separated me from being the best that I could be um, Good things. First, initially, I want to say fifth grade was just great because, and and we've had this conversation recently because my daughter just had her favorite teacher ever, 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 and I've gone to the school and said, you don't know what you've done to this child because you are my fifth grade teacher. Now I'm going to take a step further because um, because the instruction said it didn't have to be in school. Um, after working at a company for 16 years printing, um, I was laid off in like a third way. And to make a long story short, our jobs went overseas. Um, the company was being mismanaged by a third generation owner and just a lot of stuff. So I decided to go to real estate school, which I knew or had at least heard was absolutely very difficult. five, six times. Well, although I ended up not practicing real estate because I knew I was going to starve if it meant selling houses, I was able to um, get my real estate license and to get my broker's license. And that gave me, I honestly remember coming home after passing that thing and I told my wife, you know, I can still learn. And, you know, that was a big thing because I really realized I can move forward after being in such a low time. Because you have uh, had a one year old. I think the uh, best experiences I had uh, were all centered around teachers that, that taught essentially the Socratic method. They laid the content out heard about the content, whether it was history or philosophy or whatever, but then it asked the question so that you, the, the answer they were looking for was not the content, it was the so what. The worst times I had were in the class.
classes and we had uh, the chemistry report and worst headache I've ever had in my life. I can still remember it was after the chemistry final in college, mm -hmm. good Lord, and I can't remember a thing about chemistry after that, but I'm not sure, I gotta be, I'm not sure how. <laughs> Ms. Cruz Parker, please come to the front office. Ms. Cruz Parker, to the front office. But it was classes that were on pace. You either were with the pace, or basically it was a river and it's going. And you can, if you bang into rocks, you bang into rocks. It's going to go that way regardless of whether you're understanding it, not understanding it, and doing really well. Um, so that's something that uh, definitely I found out about myself and when I'm teaching I want to make stay cognizant of that where when you get that kid that plays to what don't just keep going it's maybe it's time for a pause and make sure that you're okay so we all have I can't move this.